I remember when I got my first beta like 20 years ago, the people at the pet store were like, hey, these are Siamese fighting fish. They'll kill anything you put in the tank with them. I was always scared to put anything in the tank with betas, so they would always stay in there by themselves. And it was a little boring. The truth is you can put other fish with betas, but not just any old fish will work though. So we've put a list together of our favorite tank mates for betas to help you decide for yourself what to get. Let's be honest, what fish doesn't go well with cardinal tetras? As long as it's a fish that's not large enough to fit the cardinal in its mouth, they can pretty much go with anything. This is an absolutely gorgeous little fish with the striking red and blue with the neon stripe going all the way down. They're perfect tank mates for betas because they won't do anything to hurt the beta or even pick at its fins. It's also common to see cardinals with betas because you'll usually find them in smaller tanks and cardinals are teeny tiny and can fit in almost any tank. Cardinal tetras are a schooling fish though, just like a lot of the fish you're gonna see on this list. So don't just get one. Keep them in a group of five to six to keep them super happy. I've said it on this channel many times, Harlequin resboros are one of my all time favorite fish. They have a super cool T-bone shaped mark on their side, which makes them really easy to identify. Plus they get along with pretty much everything. They're super hardy and they get along perfectly with betas. We currently have Harlequin Rasboras in three different tanks and in all three, they're in there with betas. They're just a perfect match. This is another schooling fish that doesn't get huge, but you'll want to have them in at least a 20 gallon tank. We've got to make sure we say the name right when we're doing these videos because when we're off camera, Lisa and I both call these fish Harley Quinns. Corydoras are another small member of the catfish family. They're super cool and they won't bother anyone and they won't bother your beta either. These are for the most part super active little fish that'll do a great job scavenging around looking for food, which means yes, they're another fish that'll help keep things tidy, which is always nice. Some quarries like to be in small groups though, so make sure you do your research on them before you go and pick them up. It's always cool to watch them interact as a school too. They'll be all over the bottom of the tank and doing it in a little group. It's cool to see. Quarries are kind of like snails though. Some of them get bigger than others. If you've got a smaller tank, like a 10 gallon, go with panda quarries, but you wouldn't want to put pepper quarries in a 10 gallon because they can get almost four inches in size. You see what I'm saying? Just check into them before you buy them, but the important thing that has to do with this list is they're great tank mates for betas. We all know most of the beta tanks you're gonna see out there are gonna be small, sometimes really small, like five gallons. One of the most common questions is what can I put in my five gallon tank to help with algae control and help keep the tank clean? Well, you obviously can't put larger plecos and stuff like that in there, so what do you do? Well, this is where snails come in. If you've never kept snails, you might be thinking, well, snails are a little boring. All right, I'll give it to you that they aren't gonna provide a ton of action and movement in the tank, but they're anything but boring. Or maybe it's just me. Snails come in a ton of different varieties, and some of them are really unique, and even though they don't move very fast, they'll still provide something visually interesting in every tank. If you're looking to put a snail or two in a smaller tank, like a five gallon, look for the snails that are gonna stay smaller, like the ram's heads or the nerite snails. If you've got your beta in a larger tank and want some bigger snails, look for the mystery snails or assassin snails. Be careful though, because assassin snails will eat smaller snails like nerites. This is a good thing if you're getting overrun with them, but if you have a couple nerites and you introduce an assassin, don't be surprised if they disappear. Neon 
tetras are very similar to cardinal tetras. I know we've already talked about them, but these are a staple fish in the hobby and we had to include them on this list. This is another super tiny schooling fish that won't take up any room, won't create a huge bio load on the tank and won't bother your beta. This is another great fish for the beta keeper that wants to add some movement in their tank, but they only have like a five gallon, so they don't have a ton of options. You can easily throw five to six neons in a five gallon tank with your beta and they'll be perfectly fine. The cool thing we've seen in our tanks is that sometimes the betas will pal around and school with the neons. It's neat, I know it might sound kind of weird, but I think it makes the beta really happy, like they're hanging out with their friends. You can find neon tetras anywhere, and sometimes you'll even find them for like a dollar a piece. So if you've got a medium sized tank, grab a dozen or so of these little guys and watch them fly around all over the place. They're just awesome little fish. Bristlenose plecos are a fish we talk about quite a bit on this channel. They're super cool alien looking fish that'll patrol all over your tank looking for something to suck on. I didn't mean for that to sound weird. Seriously, these are really cool little catfish that have never been known to bother any other fish. They'll help to keep things tidy around your tank and it'll be no problem for your beta. The biggest thing I like to mention when it comes to plecos is these are not fish that are gonna keep your tank clean to a point where you don't need to do any maintenance. Yes, they'll pick up little things and some of them will help with algae control, but they're not gonna prevent you from needing to do your routine maintenance. Don't be lazy. Autos are everyone's dream fish. Wait a minute, they're little catfish, so how can they be a dream fish? Well, I'll tell you. Everyone's looking for a fish that can go in smaller tanks that won't hurt the other fish in the tank. They stay small and help clean algae. Well, that just described autos. See, I told you, everyone's dream fish. Autos are great little algae eating fish that do really well in groups and in tanks 10 gallons and larger. They'll help clean algae off your decorations, plants, and even the glass, and they'll do a really good job too. The only warning I'll give you about them is if you buy five or six of them and put them in a 20 gallon tank with your beta and maybe some neons or harlequins, they'll clean up the algae really quick. People automatically think if their tank is clean, it's great. The otters are doing their job, but it could be that they cleaned it all and ran out. Now they're starving. We sold autos when we had our store and we'd have people come in and say, we put them in our tank. They did a great job and then they just started dying. In a nice way, we'd say, well, did you feed them? And they'd be like, no, they eat the algae. And I'd say, yeah, you said the algae's all gone, so what are they eating now? And they'd be like, um, point is, feed your autos. Give them some algae wafers and they'll keep your beta tank nice and tidy. Coolie loaches are one of the most fascinating little worm fish that you'll ever see in this hobby. They stay pretty small, they're non-aggressive, and well, they look like little worms. What more really needs to be said? This is a super easy fish to keep, but there is a downside, and that is that you're gonna put them in your tank and they're gonna disappear. I'm serious, they'll be gone, and you'll be like, hey, we had one in an angel tank years ago, and I totally forgot about it. I literally hadn't seen it in years. Then we were moving into this house and taking the tanks down, I drained that tank all the way down. And when I went to take it off the rack, I saw something dart across the bottom. I was like, what the hell got into my tank? It was that coolie loach. I have no idea where he was all that time. But anyway, these are awesome little fish that you can find anywhere. Just remember, they're very shy and skittish. So you won't see them all that much, but Buy a group of them and you might have a better chance. You'll have a bunch of really cool little worms swimming around your tank 
and they won't bother your beta. Let's say you're a brand new fish keeper and you're getting used to this whole thing and how it all works. You're still learning the ropes and you're nervous about adding more fish. Well, I've got the perfect fish for you. Go get you some platies or mollies. They're super cute, they don't get huge, and the best part is they're super hardy, so they'll be great while you're still learning all of this. They'll also be great tank mates to your beta and won't even try to mess with them. Platies and mollies don't care about being in a school either, so you can just buy one or two and they'll be perfectly happy. The only thing I would caution you on with these fish is their live bears and they're constantly popping out new babies. If your tank is small, I'd make sure to get only females or males. That way you don't have all those babies. Platies and mollies are available in tons of different colors and patterns. They're easy to find and super cheap. So if you're a brand new fish keeper or even experienced and you wanna give your beta some company, grab a few and put them in there with him. They'll all get along just fine. Ah yes, Rummy Nose Tetris, the gift to fish keepers everywhere. I love Rummy Nose. I always have and I always will. In my opinion, they're the coolest schooling fish in the entire hobby. And I can assure you, you'll never come to my fish room and not see a school of Rummy Nose in at least one tank. This is an awesome Tetra that doesn't get huge and won't bother any other fish in your tank. In fact, if you put a school of them in your tank, they'll just run around together all day and never bother a soul. They have the most striking red heads and a gorgeous black and white tail that both stand out from across the room. I love these fish so much and I love them with betas. Again, the rummy nose will just do their thing. Leave everybody alone. I seriously think we should do a whole video just about rummy nose. The only problem is the list would be number 10, they're awesome. Number nine, they're super cool. Number eight, I love them. Number seven, they're the best. Number six, they're my favorite. Number five, 